you're not familiar with Scholastic, it's a 95-year-old children's book publisher and distributor. You've probably heard the name if you went to school in America. You've seen the flyers, right? You've gone to one of our fairs. We actually operate a pretty uh, sizable e-commerce presence. We're actually the number one um, web property for elementary school age children. Um, and book clubs, which if you're familiar with the flyers, has really that whole order capture process has moved online. Um, and steadily our growth of that has been about 10% year over year. Our peak days will take in um, you know, up to 200,000 orders uh, and up to over 5 million requests in a day, 50,000 requests an hour. Um, we've got multiple logs, uh, Apache servers, we've got multiple WAS servers running, trying to ingest all that data. We've started an AWS migration about three years ago. We were looking to move uh, out of op operating our own uh, data centers. We were mostly co-load, um, but operating our own infrastructure, certainly, um, to take advantage of the services that AWS offers. Today, we use most of the IAS services, but we're really starting to evolve into the PAS uh, PAAS space as well. Um, so for us, we've got a plethora of monitoring tools for monitoring our e-commerce and our digital properties. Um, but one of the gaps that we had for a long time was log analytics. A log is really treated as, as truly not just an operational data source, but for the full life cycle of your application, because it's uh, being able to, to log data that's, that it gives you introspection into your applications other than just operational output from the tech stacks is really, I think, the nirvana of what you'll be able to get from anomaly detection. That's really the critical thing when you're dealing with it from, from an operational standpoint. So um, uh, APM tools you have out there, the component monitoring tools you have out there, they'll give you some anomaly detection, but really your best anomaly detection is usually going to come from your log file. The thing is we had, uh, as a mature company with mature properties, we had a fair amount of monitoring tools out there, but we knew that log analytics was a gap for us. Um, and I think we just didn't realize how big of a gap for it was until the traffic just ramped up. How do you find anything? Yeah. Right? You can't find it. Yeah. So really, capturing the data is, and then when you're logging that much data too, then you have to do all sorts of log rotation. There's all a lot of overhead, right? Because that is your, still your permanent record of, of, a, you know, of a URL hit or of a Java you know, core, or whatever might have happened on that, on that particular stack. Um, it's the anomaly detection. It's really it's being able to find that needle in a gigantic and constantly growing hay haystack. That's really the, that's the critical aspect. And seeing that trend over time in terms of if you have incidents, when you make changes, and just seeing how your general trend is over time to match your traffic, you, you can only do that with, to use another loaded term, right, big data. You gotta be able to pull that into a scalable backend that can do that anomaly detection fast to build that yourself, if you're operating in AWS, I mean, you could do it, you could try to do it, um, but you're, you're then becoming the service provider for that stuff. And that was one of the things that, that was clear for us in terms of our story with adopting um, Sumo Logic when we looked at other log analytics solutions. Nobody else has built their solution around where we were looking to operate our business, which was AWS, yeah. except for Sumo Logic. Yeah. We've expanded the usage of Sumo Logic beyond just anomaly detection operationally. Uh, we've used it for our security and audit compliance posture. Um, so we ingest all that data from our syslogs, from our core and our edge network devices. So again, we can, we can detect patterns, we can run analysis on it, and we can do anomaly detection. Um, we're really starting to uh, integrate Sumo Logic into some of our now more transformative work. We're in the process of, of onboarding um, for uh, PCI compliance. So, um, and we're working closely with Sumo Logic because they're really starting to shape their product. Um, to help us meet security and compliance on these. In particular, we're, we're a PCI level one right now, given the volume of uh, credit card um, tra traffic that we transact. Um, so we're working with them to use, Sumo Logic will be really integral for us, for us to meet all of our compliance needs. For a company like us that didn't, didn't have a solution like this, now it's in place, there's essentially no excuse. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I, there's, if, if there's logged data, or you should be logging data, there's a solution available for our dev team, for our ops teams, for our security compliance teams, for our business teams, for our analytics teams. Here you go, you can make use of the solution. They scale the back end. Um, you're responsible for your log data, you're responsible for the output and, and the anomaly detection as a result of that.